But safe to say virtual reality has come a long way. The technology is even training drivers how to navigate the often scary reality of a snow squall. Long Island reporter Carolyn Gussoff introduces us to the professor behind it all. Strap on goggles and grab the wheel. I'm actually me steering the wheel of the virtual car. As a clear day quickly slips into a snow squall, a treacherous, fast moving wall of snow that causes whiteout conditions. You can see the snow is rapidly escalating, the visibility is getting much lower. I can barely see ahead of me. So if there's a car ahead of me that stopped, I may not be able to stop in time. Hofstra meteorology professor Jace Bernhard created this virtual reality simulator with a $100,000 grant from the National Safety Council to help teach the public to just get off the road when there is an emergency snow squall alert. You'll also know if there's a car going really fast. It's kind of the bad peer pressure that there's always someone in bad weather that keeps driving fast. Scientifically accurate to create muscle memory. There's a massive pileup and I try to stop and I can't. It's Hofstra student Adalia Reski's first time driving in snow. It was a bit scary because like you just see the snow piling up and then you can't really see what's ahead. A trained meteorologist Bernhard believes VR has a unique ability to teach people about dangerous weather. It can be a little horrifying for people because you're driving along at first it's a very normal looking day and with the VR we kind of want to scare people a little bit like it's kind of good when people are reacting kind of scared because real life it's very scary and very dangerous. I gave it a spin. Can't see anything. Whoa. It didn't end well. If you slow down, you can get rear-ended. If you pull over on the shoulder, that's like the most dangerous thing. Life-saving information AAA Northeast agrees is needed. I don't think we've had a lot of snow in the last few years, and uh, we tend to forget these things, so the simulator is going to be excellent, I think. The free virtual reality simulator has already been downloaded thousands of times from the Meta Store. A scary ride, but better virtual reality than on the roads. In Hempstead, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS News, New York.